Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my video. Sorry for my like uh, four day, five day long absence. Um, but I'm back now, and we're gonna play this little game that I found. Um, on itch.io. I don't know who made it. Um, Zero Clue made it. Um. It's like one of my favorite games I've played. Um, yeah, here it is. I really like this game. Uh, it's very good. Um, so yeah, I have zero clue. Zero clue who made it. Um, yeah, I made. I made a. I made a game. It's not that good. Uh, I made very, I made a lot of lore for it though. It's gonna be a series, not just gonna be this one thing. As you can see, the artwork here. I, um, I released it like six hours ago. It's called Horn Mascot Horror because the story is kind of horrorish. Or it's gonna, this is gonna be like a franchise type thing, like Bam Bam Pop Playtime, FNAF. So that's the only reason it's under horror and mascot horror, and it's under runner. You'll see uh, there he is, and there's the main collectible in the game. Uh, a weird white sticky substance. Um. Uh, totally mayonnaise. Uh, it's for Windows and Mac. Um, actually, I haven't played my own. Well, I have played, I have beaten it. Oh, I do have to download it, though. So. Yeah. Womp, womp. But, uh. Yeah. Uh, I'd recommend go downloading. I put. Like, it took me like an hour to make. It's not, okay, it's not. That good. If good, I'll show you. I'll just show you. Hang on. Alright, so here it is. Whoa, yeah, whoa, man. Horror, yeah, game. So, yeah, uh, there's no title screen. Um, as you can see, it's made with G-Develop. Um, it's probably the best game of, um, 2024. Like, nothing's gonna top it. Like, no game that came out or is coming out. Um... This year will top this absolute fucking math. Don't, don't, don't question why you sound like a car. Um, uh, don't question that. Um, so yeah, just, just like, don't question that, like, at all. Um, uh, yeah. This is peak fiction, dog. I cooked here. I fucking cooked. Yeah, you like the animations? Yeah, I made shorts on it. Um, it didn't work. So, yeah. Um, and... One more. Boom. Look! It's a, um... Um... It's a, um, leaderboard that doesn't work. And, um, then you just do it again. Yo-ho-ho! -ho! Um, lack of a title screen really brings it together, I feel. Um, the hitboxes are super, like, these hitboxes are so on point. Just, just look at this, just, just. Just look at this. Just look, look, look. Look at these hitboxes, bro. Oh my goodness. I'm actually touching it. Oh my fucking god. This is peak. You like the biometric design? We got some random ass crosses. Um. Very nice grass. Um. Box. Shree, um, Jimmy, I don't know, uh, oh yeah, the cum 
jars. Yeah, I've made peak. But in like all seriousness, um, I made that game to learn G develop, like try to learn the engine. I fi I figured out some things about it. I'm still learning, so I probably won't be making any really good games soon, especially since I'm one person. But uh, yeah. So. I can give you guys a rundown of the lore that I have cooked so far. Um, you can play this if you want. I don't know why you would. I don't know. It's just for me to learn the engine, like I said here. Um, but yeah, I'll just give you the basic rundown. So... Sometime in around 1929, 20-year-old James Carmack saw the success of Steamboat Willie. He decided to make his own rival mascot, Shy Shelley, or just Shelley for short. A few years later, in 1940, James, who is now 31, has the, mo has the most successful studio, that's an S there, that's a typo, of all time, Shelley Studios, founded in 1934. They made animations and games, all revolving around Shelley and his friends. This game is actually the prototype for the real Shy Shelley on the Run. So, I was able to make this game into the lore. I might make another Shelley, Shy Shelley on the Run, I don't know. Like an actual one, that, I don't know. They were racking in big numbers, about 40 billion a year. I know that sounds crazy, but Walt Disney makes like two... 20 billion a year, so, like, th about 30 bill a year, so, yeah, they're on top of the world right now, um, he was on top, but, he got too ambitious, he decided to bring his characters to life, mascot suits were not enough, he hired his time's greatest engineers to bring Shelly and friends to life. After blowing most of his money on the on ro the robots, he had gone down a somewhat depressing rabbit hole. He had cut off all contact of family and friends. He basically went insane, rambling to himself all day in his office about some god. And eventually, in 1950, all his time and effort were for nothing, as he was forced to shut down his studio because he went broke. No one knows what happened to him, nor those robots to this day. So yeah, I think I cooked up some pretty interesting lore there. Um, I hope you guys would like to see what I can make in the future. I know it's not good. Like I said, it was just so I can learn the engine. I figured out some of it. Um... So yeah, um, please don't bully me, like I already said multiple times. Um, so yeah, you can download it if you want, it's free, you can donate to me. I don't know why the fuck you would though, I mean, I probably won't be making anything that good. But if you like supporting me, like supporting, well I guess my games that I'm going to be making, if you like supporting my channel, um, I, uh, I guess if you want to only. I'm not going to force you at all. Only if you want to. Um, but yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I will start live streaming soon. Why not? I just need to buy a, a camera. A, you know. That's good. I forget to say it, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, if you guys, I always hope to see you guys in the next video, yeah, there will be no more daily uploads, um, I'll just upload videos when I'm ready, I don't think it's good for me to be uploading daily, it wasn't doing good for my, like, I would say mental state, but not that, it's just like, it takes the fun out of YouTube for me, cause that's all this is, this is just for fun. It would be nice to start making money off YouTube, but it's just like, I don't know. 
And also, if you guys haven't heard, um, earlier today, like, after school, um, my patio, my patio roof fell right down. Trigger, my dog, my only dog after Rose died, um, on like, in January of this year. Um, he was out there and he almost got crushed. Luckily, he moved out of the way. The entire roof came down. It won't take that long to fix, but it will cost a bit of money. Um, so yeah. That sounds like I'm trying to get you guys to donate to me. Don't. Well, if you want to, but like, I'm not trying to guilt trip you into Jack. If you don't want to, don't give me Jack shit. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.